Good morning. Welcome to YC Cooks and Bakes. Today I'm going to make some soup. My husband's had a runny nose. Just not good. We're going to, it's a lot cooler temperatures now in South Carolina. It's going to be a soup day. Okay, the beans are sorted and um, washed. I didn't see anything bad, and they're nice and clean now. Um, so I'm going to clean um, this ham off of a ham bone. I'll be using a ham bone today, and I will bring you back after I clean up that ham bone. Okay, we're back. The beans have been drained. Oop. I gotta get that one. I know where it is. No. My German Shepherd's trying to eat it. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, that was the beans. I'm gonna use a big old ham bone. Don't worry, you're gonna get it after I use it for the soup. She's keeping an eye on me. She's like, that ham bone's going in the pot. I thought I was going to eat that. You will, don't worry. It gets, it has to go through soup first before it gets to you. Protocol, hey. Okay. Well, it's going to be one of those days. Just touch the ham bone, so... I don't do the, uh, I don't soak the beans overnight. I just do the uh, quick boil and then I turn it down to simmer and then I simmer my soup all day long. And I don't change the water. I just use, I've already washed the beans. It's going to be flavored with this ham and ham bone. I'm going to add some more ham meat to it later. That's about nine cups right there. Um, and I'm going to turn it on. And uh, probably when I, uh, I got it on the large burner right now, but when I go to simmer it, I'm going to put it on the small burner that's under here. So the whole pot is, is going to go to a small simmer. I don't know if, if everyone that I'm talking to has, I you know, all my burners are two burners in one. You can have it large or small. And I'll be putting on the small part of it later. I'll show you what it looks like. See the water, the beans, and the ham bone? Okay. And um, while this has started here, we're going to go uh, chop up some vegetables for the soup. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm at the counter. Um, my light is flickering, so it has a mind of its own today. Hope you can see me. And I'm going to start off with, I washed and cleaned some celery. And I'm going to, uh, you know, dice up some celery for the soup. And I usually just split it like this. I take it and then I split each one again. So each one is like split in four. And then I just line it up and I go like this. And you can angle it if you want. Like that. I just do that with each um, piece. Okay, and then I put it in a plate so that I'll be able to bring it to my pot. So I just go down the middle and then I do side and side. That's it. And for all of you um, that are not aware of this, which I'm sure most people are, uh, celery contains its own sodium, has a lot of salt. And you know that um, the smoked ham also contains sodium. So we have to be careful about how much broth bouillon or salt that we add to this soup. We have to monitor it. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is by taste but the wonderful thing is the meat is already cooked and everything so there's like nothing dangerous if you were to taste the bouillon you know so i will continue to chop up this celery and bring you back okay the carrots are chopped the next thing we're going to do is some onion i always get that onion skin on me okay We're adding it to the bowl of the stuff that we're going to be putting in. Now, if I was doing a chicken, um, you know, stew or soup or something, I would saute all of these vegetables in butter first, uh, you know, uh, with the chicken and everything. But this I do, this kind of soup I do a little bit backwards when it's ham and beans. Okay, I brought, I brought uh, the pot to a slow boil. I'm going to turn it down to simmer now and put the lid on it. And the next vegetable I will cut up is some carrots, and I'll bring you back. Okay. So I got it down to simmer. And um, that's, it's only like 11 something in the morning, and that's going to go till uh, 6 or 7 o'clock at night. So everything is going to taste really good by then. And I'm just uh, dicing these carrots. You can just cut them into little circles. Any however you want to do it or little half moons. Um, the, the bean, uh, I usually just, I use lime as usually. But I'm not going to run out and get anything special. Uh, just because I'm doing soup and I happen to have some northern beans uh, still had a pound of them left in the house um, from a two pound bag and so I used the northern beans that I had to make this ham and bean soup any kind of bean of your choice some people like to even make soup with lentils so whatever you like to have in your soup I know very often I see red beans on sale at the Dollar Tree 
I often see those for a great big sack, just a dollar. So, all right, I will finish dicing these carrots and I will bring you back. Hi, I'm back at the stove. I always have to remember that these lids with the metal, they, they get hot. <laughs> the metal gets really hot. Okay, so you can see it's at a simmer, but it's, it's like a still on a slow boil a little bit. You can see it in there. And we're going to go ahead and put in our bouillon. Our, uh, this is the granules from the chicken noir. Like I, you know, like I showed you, like we like to buy. And you get a wooden spoon. I always like to use wooden spoons. And um, I put in according to how much um, water I put in, you know. And I didn't worry about the 0.9 on the bottle. I just put in, like, enough for eight cups. Um, you measure out accordingly. I did not worry about the 0.9 on each bottle because, remember, I mentioned that this could take on a little salt, a bit, bit of salt with the natural stuff that's in it. So, if it needs more later you can always add more I'd rather be under than over when it comes to that you don't want your soup to be salty or drinking water all night long and not know why <laughs> okay so we have the now we have the bouillon the beans and the ham and we're just gonna put in our trio of uh, onions sorry and carrots and later I'll be putting in some ham that I have chopped up from, uh, that I had cut off of the ham bone, and um, that's about it. I don't normally put in potatoes, but you know, it's for your soup, if you like little chunks of potatoes, you could add that. You wouldn't want them on simmer all day, though. You, you know, they're not tough like a carrot. You'd have to put them in later, um, the last hour or two of cooking, or even just the last hour. Um, if it's any kind of pasta, you put it in the last hour of cooking. We do not do any of that other than the little uh, pieces of ham that I'm going to be putting in here. This is pretty much it. It's going to simmer all day long and um, we serve it over rice. And I will show you the cornbread mix that I'm going to use to um, have cornbread with it. And I'll bring you back at the counter to show you that. Okay, this is the uh, cornbread mix that I'm going to be using that we will have with our ham and bean soup and um, over rice today. Uh, it's the buttermilk cornmeal mix. And it's the Martha, it's Martha White. And that's what I'm going to make today. And I'm not sure what it calls for. It even has hush puppies you can make, but I'm going to make the easy southern cornbread. It has calls for an egg, and it calls for milk, and uh, some vegetable oil, and two cups of this. So that's what I'm going to make, and that is going to be our Sunday dinner. And um, I'm hoping that the nice warm soup will help my husband before he has to go back to work this evening. And that is my Sunday dinner idea. And I hope you have a great Sunday. Uh, if you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe and check out my other videos um, because I put all my recipes in the description. And I hope that you try to make some of them. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.